just want to do like it's 11 58 and my students are at lunch so i just want to do like a little tea time with teachers um my name is miss hill for those of you who don't know i just started this um youtube journey of mine about two maybe three weeks ago actually um i did like this little shabuya video with my students and they loved it and i just said hey i should record this just so other teachers and other people who may be interested can see what i do with my students just like a call and response and i really just want to say thank you thank you thank you so much to all of the words of encouragement all of the positive responses that i've received from that video you all are awesome i thank you so much um my youtube has actually blown up because of that video and that just kind of motivated me to push forward because youtube is something i've always wanted to do i actually started when i was in college but if you know you know college can be a bit rocky so i wasn't able to be as focused um on my journey with youtube as i'm able to be now but um i do want to let you all know that aside from youtube i am a teacher of course it's very obvious i do not in any way shape or form allow my youtube career or journey to interfere with my teaching ability and my skills to stand in front of my students and teach them what they need to know to be successful in life however i do take youtube serious as well because again it's something i've always wanted to do but i do have that balance between the two and i don't let the two interfere with each other but I just want to do like a little teacher tea time. Um, I might use this as like a little trend that I can do. You all comment. Let me know if you like this and I will keep it up. It may not be often because, I, again, I do want to do vlogs and shorts as well. But I think teacher tea time is also a good thing to do. So if y'all all have any type of topics you want to know about, any questions you may have, if you're thinking about teaching and you just kind of need some feedback or some encouragement, pros and cons, just put it in the comments I'm always open, open, open to suggestions on what you all would like to see on my YouTube channel. So I guess I just want to give you like a little bit of background, what motivated me to become a teacher, why did I want to start my career um, or my journey in a classroom. Um, it actually started when I was in elementary school, when I was old enough to understand what teaching is and what my mom was doing for her career. My mom was a teacher. She taught in the school system for 30 years. Applaud to my mom. Because those of you who know teaching is not easy. It's not easy. It's a lot different now than what it was back then when my mom was teaching or when I was in elementary school, middle school, high school. A lot of things have changed. And I can see that now as I'm in the position my mom was in. Um, but just seeing her motivation with the students, growing up, seeing how she loves what she's doing. She loved coming to work. She always had good things to say, good stories to tell us when she would come home about students in the classroom, their performance on different things, her positive interactions with not only the students, but their parents and the families as well. And that just kind of rubbed off on me. So I've always had a passion to do this from starting elementary school, through middle school, through high school. I was actually working in um, as, as an assistant, a student assistant with the um, functional skills classes when I was in high school and I just loved that environment. But I also love the younger children. Uh, I don't think high school would be more so my journey because I feel like I look like a high schooler. So I think they would look at me more so their friend. I don't think I would have the, the respect because I think they would look at me as their friend more so than their teacher. So I don't knock those who do it. Y'all got it. Kudos to y'all. Y'all are strong. I just don't think middle school, high school is for me. I love, love, love the babies. But uh, it did start from my mom. She taught, again, she taught for 30 years. And then from there, just knowing, seeing the other passion that I've had. I've had great teachers throughout my school career, um, elementary, middle, and high school, even college. I had really, really good teachers and professors. So that also just kind of motivated me to step into the classroom as well. However, once I graduated high school thinking, okay, education is my my set, my set, mindset, that's what I'm going to school for, I did kind of have a setback. I had a lot of people discouraging me, telling me education was not the field to go into. Um, a lot of people are saying teachers don't get paid. You won't be able to support yourself, let alone a family or kids with a teacher's salary basically telling me that I shouldn't go into the education field. That did discourage me. It gave me a lot to think about. So I changed my mind. I went into college with uh, the mindset of 
physical therapy. It's like, okay, I don't really want to be a doctor. Don't really want to be a nurse. I was like, what can I do that's like, it's still a doctor, kind of like a nurse situation, but it's not being with the graphic side of things, more so the healing side of everything. Cause I do have a weak stomach, so I could not be like a medical doctor. So um, physical therapy was a suggestion. And I took that um, at University of Memphis, which is where I went to school. Um, the field was exercise sports science. So I went into college, exercise sports science major. First semester, I was not touching anything related to exercise and sports science. It was a lot of general edge, um, general education courses. Second semester, my freshman year, I took intro to sports science. The way I found out that I chose this major thinking of the money more so than what my passion, I found this out because when I would go to class for that one class, intro to exercise and sports science, the things my professor was talking about, I couldn't grasp an understanding of it. I wasn't interested. I was zoned out easily studying. I was zoned out or get distracted with other things. I couldn't focus. And I was like, is it me? But then I realized it's not me. It's because my mind is saying money, money, money. But my heart was pulling at education. This is your passion. So I didn't tell a soul didn't tell anybody. I just went and changed my major because I went and did what made me happy. Changed my major, started taking educational courses, taking things like child psychology, child development, um, literacy courses. And I was interested in those things. I was interested in how students work, how their minds work, you know, how language is tied into their ability to be able to comprehend literacy skills and things like that. I was interested, I was focused, I was going to class on time, taking notes, doing my work. Whereas when I was in an intro to sports science class, I wasn't, I, I couldn't focus. So that just alone right there let me know that this is what I was made to do. So that is how I started my, my journey of being a teacher in the classroom. Teaching does have its pros and cons. Don't get me wrong. If you know, you know. But I will say that this is only my second year teaching. Uh, last year I taught kindergarten. This year I'm teaching second grade. So I'm still new with this. But I've learned so many different things as I've started my, my, my teaching career. I will say that um, location matters, depending on if you're inner city, school, if you're a county school teacher, um, municipal school district, uh, it location does matter. Um, all schools have pros and cons. I'm not gonna, for disclosure, since you know, reasons, I'm not gonna, it's safety precaution for myself, students and other people who work here. I'm not gonna tell you what school I teach at, but it is an inner city school. Um, a lot of different cultures, different backgrounds. You know, everybody doesn't come from, from the same thing. And I, I had to quickly realize that and, and grasp hold to that and hold on tight to it because that can affect the way you, you teach in the classroom. So if you're thinking about being a teacher, take that into consideration. Um, do research, location, background, you know, where the students are coming from and just keep that in mind. Uh, you can't, you, it, it's certain ways you can come into a classroom. You have to make sure you come in welcoming um, you have to make sure the students know you care. You have to gain their trust. I had to do that very quickly because I know a lot of my students come from, from different backgrounds that was, that was different from where I came from. But I will say that has helped me grow tremendously as an educator, as a teacher. And I'll never forget, I had this one professor, he was my literacy professor uh, in college. He said a quote that stuck with me and it will always stick with me. It said, educators, are born and not made. And that is so true. This is something you have to want to do. You have to have a passion to do it. Anybody cannot come into a classroom and teach. It's a lot more behind the scenes work than just what you see of the teacher walking around and, and, and teaching what's in the book or on the board. You have to prepare. You might spend nights preparing. You might stay after work. You might come into work early. It's a lot, it's a lot behind the scenes work going on that a lot of people don't see and they don't acknowledge that the hard work that, that teachers have to put in to make sure our students are successful and, and ready to move on to the next grade or further in life. I also feel like 
we don't get the proper pro we don't get our props let's say that for a lot of the things that we do um but I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna go into further detail. I don't wanna jeopardize my job because a lot of people have picked up on my vlogs and my YouTube channel. But I will say that 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 where I'm at, we we do get we do get our our props. We do get, you know, treats as teachers. We are recognized for the things that we do. But I'm just saying it's this that may not be everywhere. That may not be the case everywhere. But I know here we're 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 content. Um but I, I just really wanted y'all to know a little bit more about my why I'm doing this as, you know, as a teacher. But I also want y'all to know that YouTube is a platform where I can put stuff like this out for those who may be interested in becoming a teacher or students who may be looking for what they want to do in life once they finish high school. You may not know what you want to do yet, and that's okay. Um, however, if you need a, a little bit of motivation, a little bit more further outlook of education. I hope this video helps. Again, I'm gonna do some more videos like this, but okay, check the time, y'all, because my kids get out of lunch at 1220. It's 12.09. But I really do enjoy talking to y'all so y'all can get more comfortable with me. I really want to be myself. I don't want to be something that I'm not on YouTube. I do know that some of that does go on. But I want to be as genuine as possible. I want to be as transparent as possible, but without jeopardizing, you know, my career and what I do. But I, I have been receiving a lot of comments of people saying that I've inspired them, inspired them. They love what I do. They want to see more content, more videos, and I'm really trying to push that out. But keep in mind, I am a teacher. I'm an educator. What I do right here comes first. YouTube comes second. So I gotta make sure my kids straight, I make sure my students, you know, they gotta make sure they straight. And then I will come and give y'all as much content as I can. So just be patient with me, please. But I promise you the content is going to get better and it's going to keep growing. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all, sorry. But if y'all like doing stuff like this, just kind of me talking about different things, I am in grad school. I'm going through the relay um, grad school for education, which is literally a grad school program for teachers or inspiring teachers. If y'all want to know more about that program, because it's not just in Memphis, I think it's I think it's worldwide. Oh, not worldwide. I'm sorry. I think it's nationwide. So I think they're they're pretty much based everywhere throughout the United States. So if you're interested in that program, you want me to talk some more about it. If there's anything else you would like for me to do teacher tea time about, just drop it in the comments. I would love, love, love to share different things with y'all, perspectives. Or even if we just do a Q&A, I might do a Q&A. Y'all ask y'all questions. I'll answer them to the best of my ability without um, disclosing too much personal information. Um, but I do think that this could be a good little thing to do on my YouTube channel. So just let me know what y'all think. Be sure to drop y'all comments, questions, anything y'all want to know below. Be sure to like and com uh, subscribe if you have not. And I will see y'all later. Bye.